Same idea here. We can't have anything added or subtracted to our x's. So we got to get rid of this 12 by adding 12 to both sides. So we have a 9 fifths x equals, because that's a 0, negative 57 plus 12 would be a negative 45. Oh, I forgot my x. There we go. Divided by 9 fifths and divided by 9 fifths on both sides. That becomes a 1, so we got a 1x equals, but once again, we don't usually divide the fractions, negative 45 times 5 ninths. And negative 45 times a 5 would be uh, 250, 225. Let me double check. 45 times 5. Two, that's a 25, yep, 225. So it's a negative 225 over 9. But as it turns out, both of these are divisible by 9. So 225 divided by 9, that would be 2. 2 times 9 is 18. We got 45, that's a 5. And we'll subtract 45. Zero remaining. So this is actually equal to negative 25. X equals negative 25. Now, if you guys didn't understand or realize that that was divisible by 9 to start out with, it's at least divisible by 3 because 2 plus 2 plus 5 is 9, which is divisible by 3. And then you would have found that number to be divisible by 3 as well.